where do we start? I made a list. The new Nikon F video. If, I hope you guys have had a chance to uh, check out the new Nikon F video. It's just a classic Nikon F. Uh, 1968 is what year this is. I think the lens is a 72. I looked up the serial number. But it's just a really heavy duty, um, all manual, no light meter, just bare bones camera. And I've really been trying to take some time lately to really both photograph with more precision in mind as far as my eye and my ability to read light. Um, I've been using the Nikon for that. So more of like honing the skill of photography because I still have so much to learn. Every time I learn something new, I realize how little I know. <laughs> and the more simple I make things, the more, um, the more I'm able to see the beauty of of making photographs and the beauty of life and less about the camera and less about the precision. So I'm trying to balance both of those consciously and going out more and more photographing uh, with the Nikon and with my next point, my everyday carry camera, which has been the Olympus XA two this thing is sick this thing is meant to be carried on you all the time i shoot pictures quickly and this is the camera i use for no mind photography it's been good practice to be to be present and to breathe and to walk the streets doing what feels right for you and trusting that and being authentic to that and not being afraid to share that because sometimes I get really down on myself because I forget that sometimes it's just about being present in the process of the doing. We don't always get to choose how what we do connects with somebody else. It's important like the Nikon F and the XA2. There's times to be precise, there's times to be on and focused and then there's times to be out and off and and in it and just affected by it so the last thing i wanted to share with you um is photo books the latest one that i got is peru there's a cool insert this is sometimes the cool surprises which title is there's like these little inserts just a beautiful book a la the americans um and this is one thing that i love about robert frank um, who also used little olympus point and shoots later in his life is that i believe what i read about this was that this was a uh, originally a maquette that he made two copies of and sent one to his mother and he, he said this also about the americans this is how Robert Frank describes his photographic journey. It was just a travelogue, you know, and it happened to be a little bit different kind of a travelogue. It wasn't one that where the sun always shone. And another one, a proponent of that, who I'm totally late to the party, Henry Wessel. This guy is awesome. This book, another Steidl book, uh, Waikiki. And then I got, I think this is a newer one, Traffic, Sunset Park, Continental Divide. Beautiful book. I'll put links to everything that I've talked about in the description below. Um, I hope you guys enjoy a little bit more of this. I want to do so much more of this because I want to talk more about what's going on, what I'm doing, how I'm shooting. Um, and I want to take you along on that. 
So if you have any questions about things, send them my way. Hit me up on Instagram. Links to that is in the description as well. It's just my name, Chris Swartwood. Um, if you have questions or you want to ask questions per- specifically as they pertain to this type of format, um, I'd love to answer your, more of your questions. Thanks so much for watching and uh, you guys take care and I'll see you in the next one.